Welcome back to the Scottabyte channel and this is Scott. Today we want to talk about using the Nemo file manager in your home lab. The Nautilus file manager, also known as files, is the default file manager in Ubuntu for Ubuntu desktops. Nautilus is a very basic file manager and does not support many of the desired features you might want in a home lab. Nautilus does not remember preferences like folder view or list view on a per folder basis. Nautilus does not have a handy option to open a window with root privilege. And Nemo is a very powerful and flexible file manager with many features that we want to look at today. So here we are at Ubuntu 2004 desktop. And if I click on the files icon, it brings up Nautilus. So Nautilus basically allows us to have two windows. The window on the left hand side is kind of a navigation window to go to the major locations like home, desktop, documents, downloads, music, pictures, videos, and etc. Uh, we also have an option down here called other locations. If we click on other locations, it will look at things out on the network and it will also give you a server address. So for example, I could say SMB, meaning going to Microsoft, I can enter an address 172.16.1.58 and I can go to a share called cooking and it will bring up that cooking share in this window. So I also have the option to right click and I can add a bookmark to it and once I add a bookmark, I can rename it. And so, for example, I might just want to call this thing cooking. So I can do that if I want to. So you also have the option to display it as um, icons the way I am now, or you can display things in a list form. So we can scroll down here. Your folders are depicted in that way. So here's the thing. If we open another window for this, if we say new window by right clicking on files, and then we go display this as folders, I might want to have this displayed as folders, and I might want to have this displayed as individual line items for details where I can see the size, date modified, and that sort of thing. So if I close both of these windows and I open Nautilus back up, you can see that this one is clearly displayed as folders the way I wanted. And if I go again, create a new window, and I go off to my cooking folder, it is also displayed as folders once again, and not as the details that we had here previously. So I think that Individually, it'd be really nice if different folder views would remember what their settings are. And that's one thing that Nautilus kind of lacks. Let's see how to install Nemo and make it our default file manager. First of all, we want to issue a command that will uh, remove the association with Nautilus and the desktop icons. And that's it. Secondly, we want to install Nemo. Now that Nemo is installed, we want to set up some associations for Nemo. And then we want to make a few GNOME settings. Then we want to edit a file that will cause Nemo to start automatically. And this file has the following contents. Save that file out and we log off.
So here we are logged back into the desktop once again, and you'll notice that there's no files icon. So let's click on the show applications button and we'll see that we have a files down here. If we click on files and bring it up and do a help about, you'll notice that this is no longer Nautilus, but instead it's Nemo. So what's different about Nemo? Well, there are several things that are different. For example, one of the things that's different is I could go into a directory called Documents. And you can see that Documents is displayed as an icon. If I come over here and click and have it displayed as Details, and then I exit Nemo completely, and I come back into Nemo again. And by the way, this time we come back into Nemo. Once Nemo launches, let's right click on the icon and say Add to Favorites. And then let's move that Nemo icon up here right underneath Thunderbird where the Nautilus icon was before. So now that we bring this back up, if I go back into Documents, you can see that it's remembered that Documents should be displayed as details rather than as icons. And that's one very nice feature that Nemo remembers the settings of each individual folder on your system and how you like to display them. All right, so the next thing to look at here is that we have a setting up here on the top bar, which is for documents. Here we can click on Scott. We can go down to my cooking icon, which happens to be over on uh, the uh, NAS server and you can see that it's displayed as details. I could change it off to display it like uh, the icons once again or I could leave it over as details. And we can remove this so now we don't have any shortcut to that. If we go back home and we go to documents what would it take to go ahead and create a cooking icon? Well we can go over here to the toggle location entry and I could type in smb colon slash slash 172.16.1.58 forward slash cooking and that is the address for the cooking file share and there it is. So and again uh, now that we have this over here I can rename it simply to cooking on BMS Cloud. And then I can even move this. Let's say I want to move it up here right under Documents. Right under Documents. There we go. So now we have Documents and Cooking on BMS Cloud. If I click on Desktop, we're looking at the desktop. If I click on Cooking, there we are there. So I wanted to shift gears a little bit here and move over to my Ubuntu 2204 desktop and launch Nemo over here, which is my default file uh, manager. And if I do a help about, you can see that Nemo is running 5.2.4, whereas in the Ubuntu 2004 system, it was running Nemo 442. So another thing that's really nice about Nemo is that I can come up here to one of my file folders. For example, let's say I went into uh, my documents folder, wherever that happens to be hiding down there. And I'm in my documents folder. And let's suppose I find this folder called uh, No Machine. And I want to right click on it. And I can say open on a terminal. So there you go, I've got a terminal that's specifically into that particular folder. The other option I have is I could come down here and say open as root. It would prompt me for a password and then it would open folder, no machine, but it would open it as root and you would see that I have elevated privileges. So then I can come over here and change my entries uh, at the top between a location entry and an icon entry. As a location entry, I could say sftp colon slash slash 172.16.1.6, which would be my pie hole. And I could go to home and Scott. 
and there's a bunch of files on that pi hole and I even have a test file here I can drag and drop that to my desktop I could drag and drop it back over here and replace it and you can see that we have drag and drop capability to this pi hole which doesn't sound all that amazing except for the fact that that pi hole is an Ubuntu server instance and it doesn't have any GUI SFTP, as I mentioned in a previous video, is an integrated part of OpenSSH Server and it really makes working with other systems in a home lab implementation easy. And of course there's a lot of other things you can do in terms of doing things like making shortcuts to files and folders. Um, if you navigate to any particular place, you can add shortcuts. You can see that I've got those here. It also has a separate, um, a separate uh, bookmark editor that you can go into. And this bookmark editor is really handy because you can click on any bookmark and rename it or edit its location. And you can see here that I have quite a few uh, bookmarks that I've set up for convenience sake. Those are really nice to have. Um, the other thing is you always have an icon that it says go to computer you can click on it it'll show you your top level of your computer and we have a really nice search capability here where we can search for files and it can search the entire directory tree if you want so overall I really like the capabilities that Nemo brings to the table and I think it's a really valuable program for self hosters so in summary a file manager is one of the most important apps to manage a home lab. We installed the Nemo file manager and had it manage the desktop. We saw some of the flexible options that Nemo provides. Any Linux distro can be modified to meet your needs. Anyway, that's it for today. Please subscribe and like to the channel and we'll see you next time.